What's up, guys? It's Jay. More day of the kill. And welcome to my motherfucking living room for the first episode of Morning After Kicks. This is gonna be the first step that I'm taking to introduce some real life content on my channel. I know it's been a long time coming after five years on YouTube. I, I figured I might as well open the door slowly, I might add, but open the door and let you guys in on what it is I do when I'm not doing the tube for you. So, if you've been following my channel, then a lot of you would know that I'm a sneakerhead from way back in the day. 33 years old, and I've loved sneakers ever since I laid my eyes on a first pair of Jordans. Growing up, sadly though, I couldn't afford them Jordans. <laughs> So like most kids in the 80s and early 90s, I rocked a $25 pair of shell tops on the daily. But now, here I am, a grown ass man, 25 years later, and I have a closet full of shoes that I couldn't afford as a kid. Now, I, I, I want to go ahead and I, I want to share them and showcase some of them for you guys since it's a hobby of mine and something that me and my son have been bonding over the last few years as he gets older and it feels good to be able to buy some nice things for my son, things that I couldn't afford growing up. So it, it's become more than just shoe collecting to me, it's an it's a activity that I get to share with my son and I'd like to share it with you guys now. So today I figured the best place to start is with a pair of shoes that aren't even released yet. <laughs> I picked up these Jordan Master 12s from a sneaker boutique out of Los Angeles known as Project Blitz. They specialize in stocking and reselling hard to find past releases and sometimes they get early stocks of upcoming hype dash shoe releases. And this, this is a shoe that I refuse to strike out on. Not just because this is the first 12, the GR, in a hot ass minute. But, you know, outside of actual game board colorways, which are my favorite, all black Jordans are just a must cop for me. <laughs> so these are the Jordan Master 12s. And as you can see from the box, Jordan brand decided to go all the way back to the mid 90s with the OG 1996-1997 style box. Now, I say style because the original orange top boxes had swooshes on them. I don't think nobody remembers that shit, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Brand didn't split off from Nike yet, so the boxes had swooshes on them. Now, Jordan Brand is its own thing, so the boxes don't have the swooshes on them, but they are the OG style, the OG look. And the paper even smells like, like how Foot Locker used to smell back in the day. <laughs> It also comes with the Master Retro card that the shoe's inspired by the monochrome style theme of the actual poster, sporting an all-black tumbled leather upper. It's got the gold hit on the upper metal eyelets to kind of set it off from the rest of the black and silver. It's just kind of kind of stretches across the entire silhouette of the shoe. It's unbelievably sexy. And <laughs> believe it or not, that silver on the side also has a little bit of a 3M effect when taking pictures with a flash. It'll make it bright, glow, and a little bit more dramatic than it already looks on shoe. Everything though about this shoe just feels really nice and quality. The leather is smooth soft and the carbon fiber pattern is nice and clean. This is something I want to mention because on a pair of my IE Referee 11s that I picked up over the summer from Nike, I was, was a little bit disappointed that the uh, carbon fiber pattern on the bottom is a little bit blurry and kind of had a ghosty looking effect on the carbon pattern. If they weren't from Nike, I probably would have like, like, damn. Are these fake? <laughs> so it's nice to see that there aren't any major flaws on these shoes. And that's something that a lot of people have been complaining about with Jordan Brand recently saying the price is going up and the quality isn't matching the price. And, you know, now with these masters, the upcoming French blues and the bread 12s on the horizon, I'm 
pretty sure that these shoes quality is going to match the prices since it's only going to be a 190 general release. Uh, makes me nothing but excited for the MJ's spring offering this year. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Tell me in the comment section down below. You want to see more? Tell me. I got all types of shit playing around. It's not just Jordans either. I got some Saucony's. Got some Adidas. I got them Ultra Boosts. Everybody's in love with them Ultra Boosts. Even have some custom ordered pieces just sitting in the closets in the boxes. And I can share that with you guys. If you're interested, tell me. Comment section down below. My name's Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later.